Okay, that's the first number. It's ringing. <sighs> no, unsuccessful. Hello? Ah, uh, yes, I'm looking for a. Hey, um, I was just curious. I was needing to get a hold of a. Do you know how I could get a hold of him? I must have the wrong number. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I thought it was your brother. I, I must be. I must have the wrong number. Yeah, you do. All right, thank you. Okay. okay bye. Bye. Oh man, My heart was racing. I thought I had it. Dang it. So I'm trying to think of the words to say uh, for all this. I've been seeing my dad in 20 plus years. Uh, back in 2011, I uh, had the idea of, of kind of just searching for him, especially lately since, um, you know, I've been to the hospital with Bell's Posse and, and uh, they want my family history and I only have one side of it. It can be very odd and difficult. Really, the other day I was searching my computer, looking at old projects and footage and I came across a folder called Dad. And it brought back so many memories of that day. One morning in August, just sitting there and, you know, deciding to do some, my own research. Today is August 31st at 7.43 a.m. I was just wanting to uh, go after something that I've always wanted to do before I die, to find my uh, my real father. It should be very interesting. Um, I'm excited, so uh, I guess let's see how it goes. The good thing about this whole search, my, my father has I believe around 10 brothers and sisters, 10 different people that I can try to get in contact with on trying to figure out where he is. Okay, that's the first number. Hello? Yes, I'm looking for a but what I found interesting is that I contacted, the people I did contact and get a hold of were the right people, but they didn't want to have anything to do with my father. I don't know. Oh. I'm you must have the wrong number. It was his sister. You know, that, that at the time, that didn't really raise any eyebrows until now, really going back and re examining everything and doing more research. Um, I just find that interesting. Is this your son? Yes. Yes. Okay, you got the number? Yes, ma'am, I got the number. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's helped out a lot. I've been trying to search and come in contact with him for the past two, three years now, so. It's really helped out. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Yes, I got a number. So, okay, um, let's try that right now. The first number she gave me um, actually ended up being a wrong number. A mailbox belonging to AM. You know, that was, that was disappointing. Um, I've had, I, I had all these thoughts running through my head of, of, A, did she give me the wrong number on purpose? Here's this stranger that's all of a sudden saying, hey, I'm looking for my dad. I know my dad's your, your brother. Help me find him. Um, spur of the moment, early morning, you know, that, <laughs> without warning, you know, that could freak anybody out. So, you know, that was really going to my head of, of did she give me the, the wrong number? But, you know, I didn't let that stop me. Okay, let me call her back because I think I may have gotten the wrong number. So as soon as I called back, you know, I was shocked, you know. There was an answer, but it wasn't her. Is this is Cody? Yes. Oh, you've been trying to get over your dad for three or four years? Yes, sir. Uh, how did you get our number? Do what? Oh, I was looking uh, through the white pages in off the internet and uh it, yes sir yes is that okay i mean would he talk yes sir call it right away 
not waiting, not wasting a beat, call it right away. And to my surprise, after a few rings, male voice is on the other end. Hello? Ah, uh, yes, is there? Yeah. Um, I'm your son. Oh, what's up? Nothing. Uh, how are you? Pretty good. You, my what? Your son? This is him, Cody? Yes, sir. What's up, Cody? He said, you know, he said, what's up? Um, and a lot of people may look at that of like, oh my gosh, you know, what a jerk. Um, and, and I did for... For a, for a while after that, you know, I, I was really disappointed with that that response. You know, I, I don't know. I had something made up in my mind of this is how it's going to happen. This is what he's going to say. And of course, none of that happened. Then again, you know, now I'm thinking about it, going back and rewatching things. And here's someone that you haven't talked to 20 plus years and you don't know nothing about them. And you get this phone call that your, you know, your, your son's on the other end. Someone, you know, you don't really know. I don't know, you know, what, what words, you know, real honestly, what would he say? Um, and yeah, so yeah, what's up? Hey, you sound like a man. Well, it's been, it's been years. Yeah, it's been about 20 years or so, so. I've been out of the weather and stuff. I got heart problems. I'm doing pretty good. You know, I take a lot of medication. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I still got your pictures when you're over here, though. You do? Yeah, I'm hanging up. Oh, I'm still on my billboard and everything right now. Really? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... That's all I got, you know. We talked for around an hour or so. You know, and, and it was good to hear stories about the past and, so, and questions that I've had. And one thing that, that stood out to me was this question that I asked him. So, so do I have any brothers or sisters? Do what? I said, do I have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, 